Milan is leading 4-2, guys. There's about a minute left to the 90 minutes. Uh, if you just look at the scoreline, you might think that Milan had dominated this game. Absolutely not. Milan only had 12 good minutes in that first half. Uh, more dangerous Slavia Praga. Let's be honest, a bigger sense of urgency from their side. They actually go down to 10 men, but they still managed to score two goals against this Milan team. Two goals. Uh, Milan in the first half, a bit of a repeat of the Lazio game. Very slow. Uh, when they develop the play, the attacking play, it's more side to side than vertically. Uh, very predictable. And lucky that Slavia Praga goes down to 10 men very early in this game. Um, Giroud scores the opener. Slavia Praga comes back, scores the 1 1. Um, beautiful goal, beautiful goal. That 1 1 goal, uh, if he tries it another million times, it won't happen. But he did score a beautiful goal. And then Milan get a bit of a search of uh, a sense of urgency, right? They have those 12 minutes where they start creating some occasions. The goalie had to make some great saves. Loftus Chief scores, Reinder scores, and they go at halftime 3 1. You would think Milan coming back in the second half would have that same sense of urgency to try and close out this game and put it away. Absolutely not. Slavia Praga actually scores the 3-2 and Milan just scored the 4-2. But Milan guys, very slow, very slow, very predictable. Uh, I don't know why against these smaller teams, uh, Milan has this it's like if they fall asleep. They fall asleep, very inconsistent this season. We've talked about it so many times. If Milan could play like they do against the bigger clubs all the time, they would be so much better. But this year, very inconsistent. I didn't like the Rinders at lead duo in that first half. Um, very slow. They couldn't develop the play and just not good enough. Not good enough against a Let's be honest, on paper, a weaker team. But we saw Slavia Praga create a lot of problems for Roma as well. We saw uh, Karaboga, Karaboga, I hope you, that's the way you pronounce it, uh, create a lot of problems to Bayern Leverkusen today. Like, these small teams have nothing to lose. They give it their all. They play their hearts out, uh, being on a big stage. And we saw it today. Today, guys, Slavia was so much better. So much better. They, they just... They created occasions, they were dangerous, they didn't give up, even down to 10 men. Like, they keep on running, they attack the defenders, they put pressure. Like, it's very hard for Milan. And it took, the fourth goal is actually a brilliant Leal move, who's been sort of innocuous again today. Some moves here and there, but nothing crazy. Uh, but overall, overall, this Milan game... Not good enough. In my opinion, I'm a Milan fan and I got to be honest, in my opinion, what they showed today, yes, they showed instances of brilliance, but for the overall 90 minutes, not the best Milan team. Not the best Milan team. I got to be honest, I didn't, uh, I don't know, not convincing to me. Not convincing to me at all. So uh, we're almost done. The ref is about to call this game. Let's hope it ends 4-2. Yes, the game is over. 4-2 for Milan. They bring home the victory. Uh, but like I said, to me, not enough. Let me know what you think right in the comments. Like and subscribe.